I didn't understand a word he said. Maybe Maxine will translate that for me. Okay, my big issue. Would a divorce without a prenup cost uh, Prince William a princely sum? Legal experts say any agreement Vicki Siegler would have to ensure that she'd keep her standard of living. So what, castles? Uh, uh, I mean, how do you keep a standard of living for a princess? Uh, all, it's almost impossible. It's going to be half, up to half of his fortune, nannies, I mean, assets, cars, you name it. It is so ludicrous that he is not entering into a prenuptial agreement with the history. It's a statistical non really non sequitur here and let me tell you that clip of him being so in love and happy remember I'm a divorce attorney how many people are in love <laughs> when I'm when they're drafting prenups and then years down the road you never know what's gonna happen come so, on Vicky <laughs> Jane, you let's know be honest. Come on. Right, I know got... Prince William's kicking himself down the road. I'm telling you. We've got some romantics. And uh, Vicky, I'm on your side. <laughs> yeah, it's always romantic in stage that was me, one. Vicky, yeah. Let's wait till <laughs> stage four. All right. More on the other side of the break. I didn't understand a word he said. Maybe Maxine will translate that for me. Okay, my big issue. Would a divorce without a prenup cost uh, Prince William a princely sum? Legal experts say... Any agreement Vicki Siegler would have to ensure that she'd keep her standard of living. So what, castles? Uh, uh, I mean, how do you keep a standard of living for a princess? Uh, all, it's almost impossible. It's gonna be half, up to half of his fortune, nannies, I mean, assets, cars, you name it. It is so ludicrous that he is not entering into a prenuptial agreement with the history. It's a statistical non really non sequitur here. And let me tell you, that clip of him being so in love and happy, remember, I'm a divorce attorney. How many people are in love <laughs> when, I'm, when they're drafting prenups and then years down the road, you never know what's gonna happen. Come so, on, Vicky. <laughs> Jane, uh, you know let's what? be honest. Come on. Right, I know got... Prince William's kicking himself down the road. I'm telling you. We've got some romantics. And, uh, Vicky, I'm on your side. <laughs> yeah, it's always romantic in stage that was me, one. Vicky, yeah. Let's wait till <laughs> stage four. All right. More on the other side of the break. Royal Way. It's, you know, we're looking forward to spending the rest of the time. Dr. Drew, Joy Behar, and the always provocative Showbiz Tonight. HLN Tonight. I'm absolutely excited. Quite happy when the interview's over. <laughs> but no, we're, we're hugely excited. And uh, it's, you know, we're looking forward to spending the rest of the time, you know, the rest of our lives together. All right, Maxie, what did he just say? Uh, romantic sentiment. But what if it doesn't work out so well? Look, should Prince William be practical about all this? I, I don't know. Maury, Idaho, your question or thought, ma'am? Well, my comment is a prenuptial agreement is an agreement between two people who love each other almost as much as they love their stuff. <laughs> Oh, well, you're right. It is a materialistic concept in today's world that uh, stuff is so important that we have to presume that ultimately there could be a divorce instead of saying till death do us part. And uh, it's kind of sad in that sense. However, on the other side, uh, take a look at the uh, royals in their inner circle and some of the stuff that they've been through. I'm talking about uh, Fergie, Sarah Ferguson, who uh, we all remember, uh, she became the mouthpiece for Weight Watchers. We're talking the Duchess of York here. She used to be married to Prince William's uncle, Andrew, and she became ensnared in a slew of legal and financial scandals. She was uh, caught taking bribes for granting access to her ex, all because of money problems. So, Maxine Page, um, you're saying you don't think that the royal family could survive the divorce of these two who are now getting hitched in their fancy schmancy way. I honestly think it would it would really affect the royal family. As I said, like the opinions of the English people have changed a lot over the years, and the recent scandals have really hit the royal family hard. And you know, a lot of people want to cut back on the amount of money that's given to them. A lot of people ask, you know, what on earth are they doing? And you know, and they want a royal family that sets themselves above, you know, tabloid scandals and you know that good luck with that before everyday people. 
Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on, Brooke Anderson. You're going to be there, I understand, in London. Lucky you. What a fantastic assignment. Um, they're not above uh, scandals because they're human beings. They are human right. beings. They are they are flesh and blood, just like we are. They put their pants leg on one one step at a time, just like we do. And they're going to have scandals because that's what we people do. They are right. They are subject to challenges, just like the rest of us. But but I want to say, Jane, that Kate and Prince William have been together a really long time, eight years. They have an established relationship. They are partners. They are in their late twenties. In contrast, Princess Diana was just nineteen years old. She was a baby when she got married. So I think that Prince William and Kate are better equipped to handle what is going to face them. I, I really, really do. Well, let but me at just the say this. I understand the need to be prepared. Brooke, I, I love your romanticism. I'm sure you don't have a prenup. But uh, Vicki Ziegler, <laughs> I, um, I think the fact that they've known each other so long increases their chances of getting divorced, at least from my perspective about relationships. <laughs> what? I, you know what? I have to agree. And Brooke, I, I love her. She's great. And I, I, I believe in the romantic thoughts that marriage is going to last forever. <laughs> one, in t one out of two marriages fail in the UK, just like they fail in the United States. So the key is, if you have a prenup, there's a confidentiality agreement that says she can't talk, so we won't hear about the scandals. That's why they should have a prenup. Moreover, get rid of the fact that they're going to have, if they do get divorced, because I'm going to bet. If I'm well, maybe you casino, should hop across the <laughs> pond and talk to this guy. I'm available we'll be right for back. consultation.